Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to another Subi Shillings video with me on a beautiful morning. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Thank you so much for clicking into the Shay video and for joining me. I'm thrilled to have you here. Hopefully, wherever you're tuning in from in the world, you've got yourself something hot in your hand and you're sitting in a comfy chair. Will it on in and welcome. I'm thrilled to have you here. Today, I'm super excited. We're going to be talking about the Leaf Shave Razors. We're going to be doing a side-by-side -side using Persona Lab Blues against the Med Prep Razors. I've made sure that the Med Preps are in this one that has the broken sleeve on purpose, right? So we can tell which blades are in which razor, but I'm really excited. We're going to be doing a round two with Persona Lab Blues versus Med Preps and a razor I'm very comfortable with, that I'm very familiar with. We're going to be rocking out with the Leaf Shaves Razor. Today we're going to be talking about how it compares side by side. The blades um, should be very, very similar from my experience recently with the High Proof, but we're going to find out today using a single blade on the lowest slot Subi stack. That right? means two blades in one slot. Yes, we're doing it that way because that's the way I like to shave. I'm really excited to be doing this today. Thank you for joining me for it. The software Let's talk about it. I'm super excited. Today we're rocking out with Afogato from Hoffman's today. I am thrilled. I am so excited because Hoffman's Shave Soap is something I have never tried before. My buddy Jerem reached out, right? The Shave Dad, as I refer to him as. He reached out and he goes, have you tried this? It's really good. I was like, I have not. So I ran over to the website. I started doing some reading. And the About Us section, I just want to talk about this. Absolutely blew my mind. His name is Robert. And he said he got into wet shaving because of his ADHD and anxiety. He's like, as you know, as a person that suffers from both, he's like, it really helped my mornings to have a relaxing time dedicated to myself and also kind of, you know, slow things down. I seriously resonated, even though I'm not like super slowed down by the craft, right? When I get in here and I'm really excited to do it, but at the same time, it's a hobby that I'm passionate about and that I can feel his passion and I really love it today. I'm very, very excited. We're gonna talk about the scent. It is interesting, it's dynamic, it's fascinating. It is a coffee-based scent, off of God, right? It's a type of uh, coffee dessert. You can see it's a softer base. It reminds me a lot of like Ariana and Evans, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrement. It's a very soft base, kind of Sterling-esque. The scent on it is like an eight, okay? It's a very strong scent. If you're into strong scents, it's a stronger coffee scent. It's not super sweet. It's not cloyingly sweet. For me, this is very, very similar to like um, Black Ship's coffee scent. Um, Katie's Bubbles is even a little sweeter than this one. I love that this actually smells like a dark cup of coffee with the underlying like notes of almond and vanilla and a little bit of um, sweetness at the bottom of it. But the top of it is a nice coffee, and, like dark, very, very um, forward scent that I think is, it plays really nicely on the um, puck and in the lather as you're generating it. We've got the splash going with it and we've already got it whipped up in our Dreamscape scuttle, rocking out with our Dreamscape scuttle. It's cold, so we're still getting that hot lather going on and we're using our beautiful mountain hair shaving pearl brush. Now, I saw Jeremy use this recently because he has one It's identical. Keep in mind, this is a mountain hair shaving brush. He has one that's identical and he's like, I'm gonna use this all. I wanted to use it too, just because he is the person that tuned me in to this beautiful stuff. Take a look here. That is Hoffman Shave Soap. Again, this is Hoffman Shave Soap from New Jersey, right? It's being made in New Jersey by a, by a kind of a newer artisan, by a kind of a newer soap maker. Um, and not like super new. He's got a lot of scents. He's got a lot of stuff available. Lots to choose from. But take a look here. No bubbles, no issues, really hydrated and check it out. We're gonna throw it on here. <laughs> get a little on the face. Get a little on the money shot on the face. Take a look at how well it paints. You see how smooth and how elegant and how like beautifully hydrated and slick it is? I am digging this. This right here, been freaking tastic as far as the actual um, way it's putting on. We're gonna find out today how slickness is, how it feels as far as residual protection, and how the post shave is. But if this gives me any ideas, Oh, we're in for a treat. I'm really excited. I'm thrilled. Today, when I, I want to stress this again. We're using the Leaf Shave Razor because these are razors that I am very comfortable with, right? We're changing up software. We've never used this brand before. So we're using something we're comfortable with and familiar with. That is my always my recommendation.
application. I always recommend when you're changing something up like soap or you're changing up your software, or you're changing up even your um, pre-shave, right? Go with the razor you're comfortable with today, the Leaf Shaves razor. We're gonna start with the med preps on this side. Again, both blades are produced in the USA. Both blades have lots of debates by them because they're produced like very similarly with the same specifications. You know, whether or not one gets more QC, one gets a little bit more, uh, you know, like it gets a little bit more sanitization. Whatever it is, right? These are very similar. They're made by the same brand in the same place. They're both produced, like I said, in the USA. But the difference really relies on the price, right? These med preps are, I paid $54 when I went back to my um, purchases. And my Lab Blues, I paid $12.99 for on sale. So I, they're a lot more expensive. Whatever that is, two, three, four, whatever you end up paying for these, you have a lot more money for the med preps. We're going to see how they shave side by side today. I'm really excited. I have not had the chance to pick up my Leaf Shaves razor in too long, and I'm thrilled to be rocking out today, getting rid of this uh, Hoffman Shave Soap, and just really enjoying the shave. Like um, Robert said, he, it's a cra uh, the craft is something he personally enjoys on the daily. Same thing. I am the exact same way. It is life changing. When I found the craft, I had somebody reach out recently and ask me, "Why do you do it? Why do you love the craft?" telling you, these two razors right here showed me that I could have perfect skin, absolutely flawless shaves. I didn't have to pay a ton of money. I wouldn't have irritation. And on top of that, right, I didn't have to dump a ton of stuff into a landfill to do it. And it's way better. It's so much longer lasting. And the Leaf Shaves razor really uh, like showed me that it was possible. And I just fell in love with the shaves that I was getting that the Leaf Shave produced. I tried doing DEs at first, and I just found them to be a little cumbersome, a little awkward. And that's coming from me, right? You've seen me do the shaves probably. If you haven't, we've got lots of videos with doing, uh, you know, SEs, DEs. But really, this was the razor that made it possible for me and made it familiar enough for me where I felt like I didn't have um, a learning curve every morning, right? It was a little daunting. I won't lie. When you're picking up a safety razor for the first time, most of the people watching on this, I know I guarantee have been um, out of the craft for long enough where it doesn't really hit their, you know, their thought process. But when I was first learning, it was really, really tough. And the Leaf Shaves razor made it very easy for me. And that's why I love talking about it. That's why I am thrilled and um, very humbled by the fact that um, Leaf has continued to be a channel backer and an affiliate and a uh, uh, really a person in our corner, right? They've always been um, down with the weird hacks, the interesting things we've come up with. And I'm thrilled to really be able to get a great shave every single time I use it. Take a look here. I had a buddy reach out and say it is still his goat of head shaving and I cannot disagree here. Look at the efficiency. This is on 24 hours of, of stubble and you can see it slays it, right? No problems. The Leaf Shaves razor is very unique. It produces three different levels of aggressiveness. If you had ever seen this and you don't know that, these have three different blade tray slots and the bottom slots the most aggressive middle is medium and then top is actually really really mild so you have three different variations on shaves that you can do or you can load all three for like a very 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 um, efficient razor for me I like the bottom slot I just load the bottom slot up and I get great shaves with just using the bottom slot now one of the things that I just don't love about the leaf razor which is why I kind of started branching out really originally was the size of the head. Now that head is a very, very, because it has all those different slots and it kind of mimics being like a Mach 3 or a Mach 12 or whatever the multi-bladed cartridges are. Um, I have a hard time getting it right here. I just want to mention that again. I have a hard time getting right here. Shaving my face, I've done that a bunch of times with the Leaf Shaves Razor as far as like, you know, lining up beard and doing my neck. It's a little bit more tough just because you have to figure out where that blade sits. Once you do that, it's not a problem. Very good shave. Honestly, very, very, very smooth. Very comfortable. The soap is producing a very um, good amount of protection. I'm not having a ton of issues. It's at $21 to buy the soap. If you're curious, it is 21 bucks. So I would rate it as like more of a, like not an ultra premium, super expensive, you know, it's not uh, triple milled, but it's still more expensive than like a, uh, the Sterling soaps. So it's definitely like that more in the middle as far as price point goes, but the actual quality, beautiful. Absolutely phenomenal shave. The blades come across as being partially like aggressive. I would honestly say that they're more like, they're very smooth. They're not super aggressive. And in the Leaf Shaves Razor, the med preps come across as being a hair, uh, just a titch smoother than these blades, than the Persona Lab Blues. Just a titch on my skin. Oh man, I, I mean, honestly, I'm having a hard time being able to tell the difference here. 
Again, we're just going, we're going with the lab blues on this side and just going to town here. I'm really having a hard time telling the difference in this razor. So the Leaf Shades razor really does a good job at, you know, kind of balancing what blades are inside of it. I have a hard time finding blades that I don't love in my Leaf Shaves razor, which is good, right? You want to produce a, a product where a person can load any blade into it and get a good shave, which is really, in my opinion, that's that's what makes the Leaf so good is it really does get a good shave for me with just about any blade I put into it. It does temper those lab blues down quite a bit. Oh, I'm going to say the med preps are just a titch, just ever slightly smoother, just barely just ever slightly, I'm, I'm going to be honest here, be straight, clear, honest, transparent, lucky charm shaver, <laughs> it's a bowl of charms, I love this thing, I really love picking up my leaf, I don't get to do it nearly enough anymore, and I just love the shaves it produces, uh, I know when I use the high proof with the battle, um, with the Persona Lab Blues and the med preps, right, a lot of people reached out and said, well, how would I do with the leaf? So I'm really excited to do it with the leaf for a round two. What a shave. What an absolutely beautiful. If you've not tried a lab blue inside of the leaf shaves razor, I highly, highly recommend it. And I'm not saying you'll love it because blades are going to interact with everybody's skin differently. It's a very, very, your mileage may vary situation. But as far as the smoothness that I get out of these, I get a lot of efficiency. And the blades for the price, I don't think you're going to find a lot of razor blades that are going to be this cheap, right? $10, $12, and this smooth as the Lab Blues. The Lab Blues are coated. I know that does bother some people, but I really like the coating on them. For me, they're very, very nice. They are a more aggressive blade as far as like being really sharp. But as far as getting a very, very smooth shave here, boy, you got it going on. Oh, <laughs> you got it going on. That was awesome absolutely spectacular we're gonna do a little bit different on the review today we're just gonna double check both sides and see how it did because i want to see the post shave if we weren't doing any cross passes right say we weren't going to do any cross passes let's do a double check here see how the hoffman shave soap lined up what a beautiful shave i think if i were to compare both sides blindfolded, you know, complete as impartial as possible. Here, we're gonna grab a little alum even to check it out. I think this side feels a little less like it was shaved. Like, I honestly feel like the Lab Blues, this come across as a little bit more aggressive for my skin. And that could be just because they're not quite as smooth. They're not going through the stubble as easily. So there's more residual chatter. I don't, it could be a micro level amount. I just, I feel like this side's smoother. I really do. I feel like this side's smoother. We're going to do some cross passes and double check that. But I feel like this side is a little bit closer. But I still think for the price value, money-wise, you know, brass tax, we all live in the real world. I like this side for the cost. I really don't think either or. What a goat. What an absolute king of all the razors available for a head shaving. If you've not used the leaf, go get one. Go give it a try if you're a dome shaver. Absolutely fantastic. Now for the face, ah, give or take. For the dome, what a tool. We're gonna get relathered up here and we're gonna do some cross passes and double check how uh, the blades perform side by side. Come with me. And we're back. Wow, that lather though. Oh my goodness gracious. It is so nice and slick. I am digging that Hoffman stuff. Definitely worth checking out if you haven't. Really nice, good quality, high performing product as far as the residual protection, the slickness, and the post shave after we added alum. Really smooth and I added more lather to it. And I mean, it really hugs the skin well. It releases from my brush nice and easily. I am digging this stuff. We're gonna grab our med prep blades now and we're gonna go swipe on this side and check out the lab blue side and see if we can get anything off. Honestly, I am not feeling any drag. I'm having a hard time getting the leaf to even pivot as far as going across my skin. Yeah, nothing's coming off. Nothing at all. Take a look here. Again, we were on 24 hours, so I wasn't necessarily sure if we were gonna pull off a ton, you know, but what a shave. Oh my goodness gracious, yes! Absolutely love. And again, I really resonate with that message over at Hoffman's about, you know, it's just take a little time for yourself. And that's why I love the hobby. Just, you know, relaxing. It puts you in a, a nice place before you start your day. And if you haven't, I just really encourage anybody that hasn't tried the hobby and the craft to give it a try out. It's definitely amazing. It is a, it's a different mentality and it's a beautiful way to show your skin a little bit of love, 
show your um you know your community because you're not going to be dumping stuff into a landfill right it's a, it's a definitely sustainable and man it is the right way to shape if you ask me that's my biased opinion but really 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 comfortable shapes i'm telling you that much that are close and long lasting this right here absolutely pulled nothing off nothing off on the lab blue side we're going to flip it around we're going to grab them um our, uh, these are the lab blue so we're going to switch it over to the med prep side Woof! and we're going to try this out and see how it does yeah nothing again this side is so slick i think i prefer this side over the other side this side feels like it's never been shaved i have zero irritation i have zero stubble coming off at all i mean it is easily sliding right off the razor at this point all we're doing is lather pushing but we're going to keep trying we're going to get you know get a couple atg swipes and make sure that everything is off yeah there's just nothing coming off on this side i think these blades are so freaking similar so similar so stinking similar if you ask me that's my take on it but i've used them in a bunch of razors now and now we've done two side by sides they're such similar blades honestly i think if you're a person that is at all doing the hobby for the money value skip the med preps go with the lab loose you're going to get the same shave for a fraction of the money what a shave we got though very smooth you can see the leaf just glides oh man that's sweet that's really nice. Love that. Thank you so much for joining me for the shave. It was a fun battle shave and it was really fun to try a new artisan. You know, something that's not, I don't get to do all the time. And it was a really, really quality, high product um, uh, shave soap. I really enjoyed that. We're going to grab some of the splash and kind of find out how it does as far as the, the actual, you know, burn and projection of the scent. But what a good product, in my opinion. Definitely worth checking out if you haven't. I did not spend enough time reviewing their stuff and I should have. It's really good. I am digging this stuff. Good projection. The scent for me is nice. It's gourmand. It makes me want to have another cup of coffee. I know I shouldn't, but it makes me want one. It's a really nice scent. The splash is doesn't like is, there's no kick to it and i'm, I'm not sure if that's just because the leaf shave <laughs> you know the leaf shave's not going to be um causing irritation or problems weird really interesting splash it's very hydrating i did not anticipate the splash being this hydrating wow very nice there is a little bit more burn on this side as it's sitting than this side this side I, honestly there's no burn this side is like flawless this side a little bit more but i just really believe that's because those blades from the med preps are so ultra smooth they are like laser smooth really nice shave regardless i like both blades i will continue to use both blades because i purchased the blades right but i think i'll continue buying the lab blues awesome shave from the leaf shaves razor and the first time use on hoffman's it was fantastic thanks for being here for it and again Thanks and huge shout out to Jeremy for making it possible. Thank you guys again for being here, for clicking into this shave video and for joining me. I'll catch you in the next Subi Shaves video. I'm going to go enjoy all flawless leaf shaves. And I, if you haven't, you should too. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Subs out.